Okay, so uh, talking more about uh, JWTs, if you go to this website, uh, jwt.io, which is created by Auth0, we can um, debug JWTs. We can, uh, you know, select an algorithm scheme, paste the JWT here, uh, paste the secret, and we can verify uh, our stuff. So let's get started. Um, the API request, this is my token. Let's take that. Let's put it here and that's the payload data in fact okay um and if i put my secret here uh this is the jw.js file this is the secret um paste that there so i can see that this is the signature is verified now thing is if somebody wants to like you know make some changes in my jwt for them the secret will not get verified if they like change the uh, payload a little bit okay you see i'm changing the payload etc so uh that way the rest of the signature does not change so like if i don't have a secret here uh in that case like this is using an empty secret okay so i need to have a secret uh to be able to verify these jwt's correctly and uh when the user sends this jwt back in a new request what i what i want to do is i want to verify and i want to make sure that uh, you know this jwt is correct and the user object inside that is uh the one that i had created so uh, i think how jwt's work there is like uh there's a real nice uh talk on that i think uh, you should uh, check that out that is uh jsfu um json web tokens no yeah so this uh, this uh talk by siddharth shetrapal who is somebody who works at odd zero and uh, he has given this talk on what makes json web tokens secure you can check this talk out uh, this is the uh, video id for that uh i'll try to put it into the description or comment somewhere as well so that gives you an idea about how jwt's actually work i don't want to spend time on that in this video it'll just uh, lend in the video a lot uh, i'm gonna move uh, on towards like show you how verification of this jwt can work so i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a middleware called uh, let's say um auth middleware so uh, um let's say I'll create a file javascript called odd.js and yep here what i'm going to do is uh so my jwt is going to be coming back in my request as the authentication header like this authentication token jwt.token here stuff like this right so uh to extract tokens like this uh there are usually like some libraries like uh authorization header if you search like there are some libraries which can fetch the authorization header for you some popular ones like this library called auth header what it does is like it can take the token header out uh, for you if you need uh, to you know authorization dot parse reg dot get authorization kind of stuff but i think we can do that uh, manually as well so let me just uh, show you what i mean i'll create this middleware uh, I'll create an async function for that as well. user auth via token like that. It contains rec, res, and next. Now I'm going to do, of course, uh, model dot exports equal to uh, do this user auth via token export that okay uh what i'm gonna do is uh this thing uh i'm gonna do const uh auth equal to uh rec dot header uh authorization and then do this thing const token equal to um if not or dot starts with uh token in that case i'm gonna do res dot status 400 or uh, dot send uh error body 
authorization format not supported okay uh, that's the thing that I'll do um, then I'll do is uh, so if this auth thing is not found if not auth in that case I will uh, simply do is uh, Four zero three uh, only for logged in users like that. Um, const token equal to um, rec I'll do is uh, this thing uh, auth dot uh, split on uh, space and Or uh, I can do is like this. Uh, it's gonna be token space something. So there's gonna be one, two, three, four. Uh, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can do is uh, dot uh, substring on six rather, right? Uh, substring from six. Okay. So uh, that means uh, if I have this kind of a string somewhere. Uh, like uh, you know what i'm trying to do here is if uh, i'm just gonna open the node terminal now if i have a string like uh, token space something something like that if i do dot sub str on six on this i basically get the token part here right you get to see what i'm doing so yeah uh, that gives me the token okay then i'm gonna do is uh, get this uh, Require the util uh, JWT one, uh, the verify one, right? Verify JWT. So I'm going to do is uh, const user equal to await verify JWT on this token, and uh, I'm going to do a try catch on this. Uh, try catch on this. Uh, catch error. If there's an error, then uh, I'd do something like, I don't know, uh, 403, uh, I'll see if the status code is correct or not. Uh, I'm gonna do like a JWT verification fail. For the successful case, I'm gonna do is, uh, rec dot user equal to user and uh, I'm going to do is uh, return next like this. Okay, uh, so I'll call the next stuff in the middleware uh, in this uh, case. Return on this and return on this. Okay, so that's my middleware which does auth via token. It checks if the header is there. If not, it uh, prevents going ahead. It checks if it starts with token, then it uh, actually verifies it okay uh, okay I think that's done uh, what I'll do is uh, go to the API slash uh, uh, go to roots API user.js root and uh, instead of uh, doing this I'm gonna try to see what I'll do here um, so I'll get this middleware const uh, middlewares slash uh, auth I'm gonna take the what's the user auth via token verify okay uh, I'm gonna put this middleware first user auth via token that is the first thing this will be the second middleware uh, and if reg dot user exists then in that case I'm gonna do res dot send uh, reg dot user okay so just try this thing out first okay so uh, yeah let's just run this and let's try to do this login stuff i get to login i take this token and i make a new request to uh get request to and i take this authorization header um, with a token pass the token here okay or I don't know I think this should be uh, 
pretty much good enough. Um, we would be doing um, sending a get request to API slash user. Uh, get this place API slash user send. Okay, uh, I think I'll just change the header. Uh, the authorization should be uh, of token type, not this one, not this one. I'll just uh, remove this stuff. No auth, I'll just put the header. Authorization, um, token space this, okay, sorry the auth token okay let's send this yep we get the user object you know email username bio image password should not be sending the password i'm gonna check how to change this stuff but yep uh we get this user object instead uh, if i pass red dot user here okay so yep that's what we want uh we can log in and once you're logged in we can use this token send a request and we get details about that user Okay, so my um, API slash user path, this is working now with the JWT tokens, okay?